Oh, hey, guys. A lot of... A lot of deadly water shenanigans you got going on here. I can't help but notice. All right, that could have gone better, but it definitely could have gone worse. My word, those shrimpy are fast. Like, insanely so. Ow. Don't talk to me. Intentional damage to get iframes for that second bubble while the Gunday Soul was going. Can't prove otherwise. What a weird layout this area is. Hi, Aquaman. Bye, Aquaman. All right, Dendome time. Let's go beat up Aquaman. We'll be done with the Dendome tournament. And then we can just get as close to the Toy Robo part of the game as we can. We're definitely not going to mess with any of the Toy Robos today. Even if I get to them. Unless I get to them in the next, like, five minutes. Even if I get to them, I'm just not going to bother with it. Start with it next stream instead. Here we go, Aquaman. Let's get this done. I think it'll take us a little under 20 minutes to to get to that part anyway. I think it'll be fun. Probably I should have just gone with Fast Gage here, but oh well. Then I would have gotten this awesome Sparkman like 280 damage. Although realistically, I really probably should start doing a lot more of just immediate, immediately going for a uh, fast gauge no matter what. That being said, I'm gonna immediately do this. Veteran, welcome to stream. How you doing? Wow, I cannot believe you stayed on the front row that much. I hate you. Oh no, these things. Behold, my holiest of panels. There are many panels like it, but this one is mine. All of these wide swords are a serious problem. Which is why I'm still not doing fast gauge. I'm just trying my darndest to get, uh... I moved the wrong way. It's fine. Ow. Doing my darndest to get this right here before I run out of number soul. Yo, Aquaman at higher levels? He's actually a bit of a threat. He can be pretty rough. Alright, now we'll finally do this. When Aquaman is at 144, probably should have just taken the Z-Saver, to be honest. Because Aquaman jumps in front of us so much. That was way faster than I thought it would be for me to be able to dodge help. I got a little turned around there and took a lot of damage at the very end, but it's fine. We brought it back. Skip. Den City Tournament completed, chat. Let's go. It, it took about an hour to get through the first, like, third of the game if you break the game into those three pieces of the three tournaments. And then consider duo section like an epilogue, I guess. I have mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hawk Tournament coming up. I know, I know. All right. May lose house. Let's do it. Hello. Happy I don't need to go with Network 4 again. Playing 6 before getting your plat. Yo, nice. All I need to do in 6 is get the Proto Soul in this playthrough. The only trophies I'm... Or not 6. Uh, 4. The only Network 4 trophies I'm missing are the Standard Chip Trophy, which I need like 8 more chips in my Red Sun playthrough where I'm on my third game. And then I need... Uh, I need all 6 souls in this game. So I'll be getting that trophy when we finish this game on Wednesday. And then I haven't started on the 5 and 6 trophies yet. I've been slacking. I've been so busy with other stuff, just haven't had time to work on it. I already have the... already have the Platinum in Legacy Collection 1, so... I'm not too fussed about speedrunning the Platinum for Collection 2. I'll get it before too long. Probably that'll be the main thing my free time goes to once the Anime Villainous Tournament finishes up. Because that's taking up a lot of my free time right now. Hi there. This hand sucks. Can we just not? Thank you. 
I was really worried the game wasn't going to give that one to me. We're in town area already. Town area three, here I come. We'll be there before you know it. Please no Top Man Omega. Thank goodness. That is like my biggest worry with the playthrough right now is running into an Omega that just slaughters me out of nowhere and then I lose like 15 minutes of progress. I really should be saving a little more religiously with that in mind, actually. Wide shot three, you? I don't think I've ever seen a you chip until now. Madness. Man, think of how cool it would be if I had the stupid sea slider right now. We gotta make sure we buy the stuff for the sea slider as well. I'm going to actually buy the one down here right now. Do it like that. Oh, we're gonna kill this lark here. Actually, I'm gonna click it immediately. The lark won't insta-die as a result of this, but I wanna hit both of the, uh, yeah, hitting both of the Medars is worth it. There we go. There we go. Bothered me with the standard chip trophy was if you miss some purple daddy, you need to start a new game to get stuff. Yeah, to get all the standard chips in four. It's a little lame. Getting all of the standard chips is usually pretty lame in, in the network games. But four is purple data stuff. There are like three, I think. There are like three or four of them that are like, uh, you have to get them in two subsequent playthroughs. And one of them you have to get in like three subsequent playthroughs, which is really stupid. But also, by the time you've beaten Network 4 a third time, it's really easy to just beat it a fourth time if you're missing, like, one or two. But, I mean, it'd be way better if it let you buy them or something instead. This is gonna do 250, is it? No, it did 240. Wow, I wish I had Sanctuary instead of just Holy Panel. I didn't even know Sanctuary was in this game. It must be a Mega Chip. Probably get it in Undernet 5 or something, I bet. Or in, like, the Super Post game. Pile Driver. Yeah, why not? Almost accidentally went with just a single Gunday Soul. That would have been less than ideal. All right, Giga dead. There we go. Oh, we still had one more. I thought that was the last one. What you got for me? All right, yeah. Bum, bum. Which one of these long swords was a wide sword? That thing really does three panels, huh? That's insane. This sucks. I only need one life sword to, like, get through this, so I'm going for it. Oh, no, I put it on their side. But wait. Okay, well, I mean... This also sort of works. Okay, thanks a lot, Invis. And you had Get On this entire time, huh? Oh, it's gonna mess up Pile Driver, isn't it? That was a uh, misplay by me. Also, my word, this is atrocious. Like, this, this sucks. Ow. Thank you. Finally. Please let me move from this spot. Okay. Those things go four times. Do not forget. That one jumped four times there. Holy cow. This is, the, like, the closest we've been to death outside of, like, Duo and Kendo, man. I'm fine. I realize I could focus on killing him instead, but hear me out. I'm scared. Don't want to die, so I'm just going to heal and invis. 
the most scared Mega Man's been his entire career against one, one virus. Hey, we did it. Oh no, my mom was hurt or whatever. I don't actually remember what this cutscene is about. Like someone broke in and typed on my computer and mom's hurt. Something along those lines. You want me to go to park area too? Yeah, and then to get there faster, we're gonna go over to Elect Town. I got about 10 minutes left in stream, so we should. We might even get to go to Castillo actually and then wrap up in Castillo. If I go quick enough with this. No matter what, I feel very confident we're gonna be basically starting with the Toy Robos on Wednesday. I don't think the Toy Robos, unless I really get stuck in a virus fight of some kind, I don't think the Toy Robos will take more than an hour. I don't think the Hawk Tournament will take more than an hour. And I don't think that the third tournament will take more than an hour and a half, because we have to go to the Undernet and do the Chod stuff. So that adds up to three and a half hours, and then I think as long as I can beat Duo 3 within like three attempts, I think that'll take about half an hour. Maybe an hour. So point I'm trying to make is that I feel pretty confident that we will be able to finish the game on Wednesday. Slow King, what's up? You've showed up at the last like 10 minutes of stream, I'm afraid, but glad to have you for some rather than none. How are you doing? That guy down there, we gotta get a board piece from him as well next stream. Because I know Proto Man is gonna make us go to the undernet. He's hardcore like that. Ow. I've never seen a Lark go forward twice like that. They normally always zigzag. There we go. Yeah, saving the best for last, exactly. Oh, I meant to save before doing walking up to this rip. Well, hope that this normal Navi doesn't rip me a new one. I would really like to get one of my four invises so I can use it with the Gunday Soul, because I am outdoors, so it'll do like 400 damage. I've been told to be silent. I hate this. Perfect, thank you. And then if I could just get Pile Driver to end this fool after that, that'd be great. Bum, 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 bum. Wins! Ow. This sucks. Bad lineup of chips. Should have used that other whatchamacallit there, but I didn't. Ah, oh, give me a program advance. Please, number man. Can't wait for Thursday. Hoping Square Enix ships your copy early. That would be nice, wouldn't it? If I step back and immediately click this, I think he'll die. He'll get really close, at least. Aw, oh, dang it, I wasn't fast enough. At least it still broke that, but that's really upsetting. Could have had the kill there. This will essentially do it. I'll get to Life Sword again next turn on the next draw. Nice. Those bombs doing a 3x3 three three is insane. This missed. Nice. Good one, me. No, not wind. Ugh. Oh, wait. Invis, I think, ignores wind. We should be fine. I will admit, this normal Navi gave me a bit more trouble than I expected. There we go. It's time. Until I do the versus Redux with RTK, the last time for a long while. I get to put in the Rage Duck password. Rage Duck. Rage Duck. He's done it. And again, we're gonna have like just enough time to run over to this guy in park area, skip some cutscenes, and then save, probably walk over to Castillo even, and then save and wrap up depending on these viruses being annoying. Bum, 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 bum. Do it like this. 
Nice. <laughs> nice, sir. You dumb idiot. You don't stand a chance. There you go. Man, I can't wait for Thursday. We're so close now. Streaming Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow. Streaming Network 4 on Wednesday. And then it is uh, it's Final Fantasy 16, baby. For like three days straight. Well, I wish I had hit that other guy even a little bit, but glad I got rid of that other idiot. Nope. Later, loser. I was stuck in that bottom left corner unless I took lava panel damage. You can tell I'm focused on being able to finish on Wednesday because I'm not picking up any data whatsoever. I'm like, make sure you get enough done that you can finish on Wednesday. Get this playthrough in the books before... before whatchamacallit comes out. FF16. Really good starting hand. Especially for this lineup of Medar. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that. Should have waited. Should have waited a little bit on that one. This sucks. I need you to die. Okay, well, you know what? I can't really be upset that you did that. Fair enough. It would be a little hypocritical for me to be like, how dare you? Just a smidge. Go fast. While he's in this animation, get him with the Gunday Soul 3. Nice, he stepped up one, the dumb idiot. Should have thought twice. Skip. Mm, skip. Nice. Let's go to Castillo. I got like two or three minutes left, actually. We can probably go through... Oh, no, we have to run to Park Area 3. We're not going to do that fast enough. We could get started on running to Park Area 3. Actually, can I speed run to Park Area 3 in like two minutes? I might be able to. I'm going to try. I don't think I have to talk to Melu again. I think I can just go after talking to him. I hope. Why does Castillo have these, like... What is, this is like the British Royal Guard, right? These guys in the background? Why is this the Castillo thing? These little, like, toy soldiers? What the heck? We can at least make it to Park Area 3. Maybe not to the end of Park Area 3, but we can get over there. Probably. Or maybe just make it a little way through Park Area 2. Oh, got away from the Mokos. Good sign. I hate this stupid snake path, it's so long. What is the snake way of trying to get to King Kai? Mega Man doesn't need that kind of training, although the Spirit Bomb would probably be a pretty sick Giga Chip. I imagine it would be a lot like Apollo Flames Mega Chip in Star Force. Just summon a giant orb, throw it forward for a 3x3. Three three. Oh no, viruses, oh no! Oh no, I'm running! Rip. There goes all my hopes of getting to Park Area 3 before stream is over. My entire strategy was just maybe if I run from every fight and get away with it, I'll be able to do it. Lo and behold, did not work. Probably should have gone with Sparkman here, actually, because he's like a guaranteed hit. Just make sure that I hit you. Nice. Nope, going with the Z Saber was way smarter, actually. Let's at least make it to Park Area 3 and then wrap up. I'm, I'm feeling good, chat. I'm feeling like I can finish up the game for sure on Wednesday. Feeling like I can do it. Hopefully. Did I say Thursday? I meant Wednesday. Thursday we're playing FF16. Wednesday is what I meant put that big hammer three in to go with the Z-Saber. Two Z-Chips. Next level taking. Put in all the mines that I got that don't work on Duo. <laughs> Who I've got to do 3,000 damage to in a final fight. I didn't realize that these guys weren't lined up to where I could just kill them all instantly with Gunday Soul, so I definitely should have taken another chip or two. 
I stepped into that because I'm dumb. Bad. There we go. It's hard to time hitting those shrimpies when they're so fast. All right, I am out of time for today, chat. So we will wrap up right here. When we come back next time, we will fix the Park Area 3 system. We'll do the Toy Robos, knock out the Hawk Tournament, hopefully also knock out the uh, the Blue Moon Tournament, all the Proto Man stuff, and then finish up Duo. I think we can do it in about three or four hours. I think it's doable. It's gonna be a little tight. It's gonna be a little tight. It, it might depend on if we get some, uh, some quicker or slower RNG enemies in the Hawk Tournament and the Blue Moon Tournament, but I think we can manage it as long as I don't get stuck on Duo or any other annoying boss. So, uh, yeah. For those of you watching on YouTube, I have most certainly finished this playthrough by the time it makes it to YouTube. I'm still not even up... I'm still not even done uploading Network 6. But, uh, if you'd like to catch streams in the future live of whatever I may be playing, Star Force 3 eventually, and then other things, link in my Twitch channel description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell.